Hey everybody, this is Misha. I'm part of the gradient team here at Paperspace, and we're super excited to show you the new integration with the Hugging Face Library Transformers for doing deep learning based natural language processing. Gradient is an end to end platform for building, training, deploying machine learning models at scale and to really accelerate your machine learning workflows. We're going to start off by going into the notebooks tab over here. Notebooks are an interactive workspace that launches you right into your IDE of choice, whether VS Code or Jupyter Lab, and allows you to start developing and running your machine learning code on dedicated hardware. We're going to start off by clicking Create Notebook and then choosing a pre-selected container. We're going to go in and select the Transformers by Hugging Face container here, and then we're going to choose a machine to run it on. Here we can run it on either a free GPU or on a paid instance. And then we're going to go in and give this notebook a name. We can go in and adjust the auto shutdown time, which will kind of automatically scale our instance down once it's this time limit hits. And then we're going to go and click create notebook. So this is going and actually provisioning your own um, containerized environment where you're going to be able to build and iterate on your machine learning solution. This kind of starts up in 12 seconds and we're already up and, up and running. So I'm going to be able to go in and click open and then dive into this Jupyter Lab environment. If we take a look inside here, we'll see that there is a um, couple of files and folders on the side that come preloaded. There's a variety of kind of examples on how to train and do fine tuning on squad or bird or kind of language modeling or translation tasks in either PyTorch or TensorFlow. And then we will come back here and then we have three different notebooks. Kind of there's one on uh, training tokenizers and the various tokenization techniques that are inside of the face, kind of the um, core transformers library itself. And then we're gonna go in and show you the new pipelines capabilities that allow you to do sentiment analysis, uh, name entity recognition, do question and answering, mass filling feature extraction. This is designed to be extraordinarily easy to use and we're gonna go in and dive right in. So we're gonna first kind of upgrade our, um, run that first command, do our imports, and then the first task we're gonna go and dive into is doing uh, sentiment analysis. So we're defining a pipeline object here and just specifying the type of task we're doing. And then we're gonna go in and do a classification on the, it's such a nice, weather outside. And here we see that we have a positive label with super high confidence. Maybe it's not so nice out and I'm going to say it's such a dreary day in New York. And then if we go in and re-execute that, uh, we're going to see that very negative, basically state-of-the-art sentiment analysis in two or three lines of code. The next task that we're going to go and do is named entity recognition. So we're going to define a named entity recognition pipeline and then pass in that Hugging Face is a French company that's actually based in New York. So here we're downloading a fairly large pre-trained model. So these backbones take thousands of hours, hundreds of thousands of hours to train on either BERT or GP2 or Distillabert. And kind of Hugging Face makes it available for you guys to um, train and start taking advantage of right away with kind of very low compute cost up front. So we're, as we finish downloading this, then we're going to run the um, string here and kind of go and get the resulting um, entities out of that. The, this is running kind of on that dedicated GPU backbone that you spun the instance on top of. And so if you look here, we see kind of we have um, kind of hugging face. These, this is an organization. We kind of, this is a miscellaneous. And then New York is a location. So kind of it went in and we're able to grab those um, tokens and the type of entity it is, again, in only a couple of lines of code. The next one that we want to do is question and answer. So this is based off of the um, squad style of model where you kind of have a, a context or a body of corpus that you pass in, and then you can go in and then just ask it a question. And so kind of we went in and pulled that down. And so we're saying the context here is Hugging Face is a French company based in New York. And then when we ask this, we go and we get back with pretty high confidence that the answer is actually uh, New York. That's awesome. So we can go and ask any type of question. The, um, 
kind of next task here is around doing uh, mask filling. And so we're saying Huggy Face is a French company based in, and then we're doing a, a fill in the blank. And we're gonna go in and kind of see what it says. Again, you can kind of take your own custom tasks here, um, but kind of the various um, look things are kind of it's based in some of these various, um, various cities with various levels of confidence. And so it's based in Paris and that is, that's correct. Um, so we can also do just more broad um, feature extraction on and go in and actually just featureize the a string to kind of use it as an embedding somewhere else. Again, super easy to do. All, a lot of the underlying machinery is handled for you. So now that you kind of have um, an idea of the introductory here, um, we wanted to go in and actually run a um, kind of launch a widget inside the JupyterLab environment, kind of choose the type of task that we want. Maybe let's go in and do sentiment analysis again and say, I hope that you like this great video. And then if we go in and actually run this, we'll take a look at the output here. And so, yep, super positive, super positive output. Well, that's kind of it for today. I hope you really enjoyed the video and um, we'll go in and be able to get up to speed with Hugging Face on Radiant in no time at all. Um, thank you very much.